for somebody that is brand new, yep. not used to volume, obviously the intention of the pump theory is we want you in and out in 30 minutes, yep. right? So if you are brand new, you're not used to volume, how do you scale? How do you, um, you know, manage the reps, stuff like that? What, what do you kind of recommend? Yeah. I mean, like, you can, you can just like rest pause, meaning like, you know, if it's a AMRAP that says this many rounds, you're going to have to scale it to three over five rounds. If it's like as many reps as possible in three minutes on a time frame training, you might just have to like literally like take a 30 second rest and just count that as part of your time just because you purely can't make it through it. And I mean, like some people might start at tens and like not be able to do fives. You know what I mean? Like that could be a, a legit concern. So my point is do everything it's possible for you to get through it. But just know that, um, you know, if you need a little more rest or whatever, but just keep adhere to the time frame though. That That's really because I want you to be able to make sure that you can be consistent. And if I got you towards 60 minutes and that's why you weren't training the first time, like because you're taking too much time, like I'd rather you do a little bit less reps, move on to the next thing and stay in the cons stay within the parameters of the pump 30, do as best you can and just get better because you're consistent. I mean, I think that's, I think that's the move. What would be interesting though, <clears throat> and I don't know this to be true or not. I use the pump thirties of like when they're obviously convenient because of whatever travel or I slept in or whatever, which doesn't happen a ton. But if we had a week where it was like maybe three weeks of the get stacked and then one week of it was the pump thirties mm -hmm. as like, it's definitely not a deload week but you can still put your powerlifting in front of it. You can still like, I don't really, like I'm, I'm still messing with these things, right? Of how I will use them, how people can use them. But in theory, you could front squat deadlift and then do the back workout and then do conditioning. And you see what I'm saying? So there's, all of these things are stackable, I think. And as I'm learning how to figure all that out, but um, I'll start to kind of mess with them a little bit more within my training too, for mm -hmm. sure. Cool. <clears throat> so 